All right, bear with me. I'm getting the stream started uh, here in just a moment. And what is up, guys? Thank you for stopping in. We really do appreciate you guys who are always here and always the lurkers are appreciated. I'll be starting up in just a moment, everybody.
This will be a solo run of the game, so uh, I'm going to be focusing on the game as much as possible because I kind of, I just want to be well averse into the game. So uh, I will not be joining the live stream VCD, not today. All right, uh, I actually was not expecting that to pop up right away, so I actually worked in my advantage a little bit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hi guys, you see my uh, wonderful face, and no, D's not dead, and that's not being sad, bro. I just mean being, being me. Because I, I do want to get well versed into this game, and I I don't think those files did delete. I don't think so. I don't think there's there's no chance that that was going to happen. But uh, we're going to stop the music. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's do the plug. We'll do our plugs real quickly. We'll make this as like a as a normal thing. So this music here is created by Doctor Witch Doctor. But if you guys would like to check out his stuff, it is all right there in the link. For his link tree and that has all of his information of the music where he publishes them to and he also does streaming so definitely give him a follow tell him that i sent you to his way and as well as that um if you guys would like to listen to a movie podcast review listen listen to kino talk podcast you can find it on spotify and on youtube you can find our facebook page at uh www.facebook.com slash kino talk podcast all one word and as well as join a discussion group if you guys are movie buffs and love discussing about movies uh we are definitely open to you know talking about movies and stuff like that or even personal stuff you know if you guys want to talk to us definitely shoot us a message on facebook or as well as on instagram because we do have an instagram page and a twitter page definitely go and support mgb podcast as well because that's what i do with uh my friends dj emma materi tyler aaron a whole bunch of other people who are part of our crew for mgb we also do have a podcast called Mysterious Golden Blocks Podcast or MGB Podcast. Definitely listen to that too. Uh, and if you guys want more information about that, uh, there's a link that usually pops up in chat every now and then, which is my link. You can go on to that, go to podcast, and then you'll find both podcasts there. We do have uh, social media. You can go follow at, at uh, the MGB or Mysterious Golden Blocks on Instagram and Twitter go follow us as well as that um lastly uh i appreciate all the clerkers and everybody who has stopped in so far for like this past week i'm trying to stick with the schedule i have but stuff comes up last minute which includes like local shows and stuff like that and it's just something that i i really am enjoying 
I'm really enjoying everything that I'm doing right now, and I really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much for just coming and sticking around. It really does mean a lot that you guys are just here and hanging out, because I get lonely, and I really hate being lonely. But for that, let's get into the game, which means we will be turning down the music, even though this music is fucking fire as always, dude. Doc, you make some wonderful music, bro. You have a, such a great taste in music, even though it's EDM, which not a lot of people listen to, but I fucking love EDM. And Grippy, got you tabbed. Thank you, Grippy. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, man. And uh, let's, I think we're good here. Let me open up the game and we'll switch screens. So here we go, guys. You gotta get to see my wonderful background. There we go. All right, now the game is popped. Popped. The, uh, the game is not suitable for children for those. Uh, uh, fuck. Whatever. I did not see what it. What? Uh, I can't read the entire thing. Fuck. I'm doing not bad. You're doing not bad. Oh yeah. Well, I, that probably means you're not doing good either. So let's so like a neutral response, uh, sort of say. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making assumptions here. Uh, also, I started earlier because I have plans tonight, which means I might end my stream before I leave or around maybe 6 p.m. Central Time. So we're probably going to be streaming for a good two, two and a half hours. So we won't be on long unless I get super attached, but who knows? Who knows? We're going to be here for a little bit. So don't worry. I'm not going anywhere just yet. Uh, let's do it. I am doing good, you dog shit. How about you go fuck yourself? And play some Doki Doki, because we're gonna be playing some Doki Doki, so let's do this, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. We left off with, um... With Suki. We were with her with Natsuki. And we're making, uh, cupcakes for the... What is it? Um... For the frickin', uh... Festival, yeah, that's that's what it was. Montage, the photo, photo will be graphic, okay. Uh, let me go into my settings and... Well, it looks like, uh... Alright, well, it looks like uh, it's not gonna happen. Got, got him. I want to do so many things. Heck yeah, dude. Whose fault is that? Oh, who take me in a post, man? Shari, I got to look at uh, Instagram real quick. Someone tag me. Who tagged me? Oh, bro. Yes. <laughs> Someone just posted a picture of me and some friends at G Fest. I'll show you guys right here real quickly. You see that? That, that's me. You don't see me. Look at me. I'm chunky still. That's me and my friends at G Fest. And G Fest would have been today technically. Today would have been uh the first day of G Fest, which is a three day weekend event. But um, it got postponed last year and it got postponed this year as well. So it'll probably be making its big return. Oh my god! Uh, Monkey from DDLC. Thank you so much for the follow. Holy crap. Oh, Monica from DLC. That's a DDLC. Thank you so much. So, so are you the legit Monica? Are you actually her? I, I, thank you for, thank you for the follow, Monica. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping in, and uh, let's let's get back into this game. Sorry, let's not let's not uh what a group gathering, dude. It's awesome. It was awesome. I loved I loved G Fest so much. I just was a bit sad that they canceled again this year, but it it's what it is. Um, but yeah, let's let's continue with this. Uh, yeah, we were left off here. We we're just finishing up the icing, I believe. There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Oh heck no. <laughs> she tries to reach w it with her tongue, but it's too far away. How about you just go up and, uh, you know, kind of just take a... Mm. 
big old slob off her face, man. Gee, RGs, you know what? Take this. Nasuki instead, instead wipes it off her finger before shoving her finger toward my face. You wish I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Oof. Ah, stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. Uh, you don't, you don't, uh, blah, blah, blah. you do that to me all the time, you know. Saying things, uh, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. Oh, bro. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Nasuki's finger and put it in her mouth, licking off the icing. W what? D did you seriously just... Ah. Natsuki is so surprised that she can even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Oh. Hey, yo, that gay... <laughs> Bruh, that's not even... That's not even gay. What are you talking about? Johnny, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question she asked me? Just like that? How did Mood turn to this so quickly? How is that... How? What? I don't understand what's wrong with you guys. That How is that even freaking gay? What the fuck? You guys are stupid. Shut the fuck up already. Oh my god. Alright, Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her swall or shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Uh, I have nowhere the fire alarm starts going off. Yeah, you guys got so distracted. The Yuri one is worse. Oh my god, I wish... Shut your... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I, if I have to do alternate uh, like storylines, I, well, I probably would have to. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven, bro. Bro, Yuri sticks the main character's pen up her per. Wow, dude, that's great. What the? F that's some twit. Yeah, that sounds like something that would be out of uh, what is it? Out of freaking uh, uh, what is it? Katawa Shujo, dude. That sounds that sounds like some Katawa Shujo vibes right there. Let me see. So I hear some like messages going off. I don't know if it's because of me or if it's because of something else. Uh, no. Okay. All right. No, it's not me. I'll close this out for right now. Just this page, really. I need to open this one. I need to excuse me. Are you Open you. And then your last one. There we go. There we go. That's based and red pilled. Uh, I'm probably reading that incorrectly wrong. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before it still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcakes tray into the oven. Fuck. I can't. Oh my god. That fucking sentence just fucking got me all of a sudden. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. Like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! <laughs> Sorry for cringing, you guys, but I am a cringe master here. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the, the oven door, a blast of swalt smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. 
She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought the decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Well, how are you getting like that many followers on TikTok? What do you even post on TikTok? Like, tell me your ways, dude. Literally yesterday, you were like, I'm at 674 hours crying. Now you're at 809 all of a sudden? What the heck? Why every time I look at Natsuki, I remember the mode ab about her. The mode? Her mood? Is that what you like? Uh, were trying to say? Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles to make them... Uh, that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. Uh, that's one, uh, that's, that one's really thin, so you can make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. Huh, I see. It's called... Carl, it's called being built different. How about you go fuck yourself? <gasps> no, mod. No, mod, where Natsuki uh, has extra sprites and her house is added, plus her dad. Oh, okay. Huh. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcakes based on a word they like. Uh oh. Hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea. So, ah uh, ha ha ha. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> How about no? Uh, I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. Uh, Carl, me on the way to have sexual intercourse with myself because a man playing a game about anime girls said so. It's kind of fucked. What the fuck, D? <laughs> Invite me, please. My god, you guys. <laughs> you can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? N no, nothing. I need to see the action. Bro, you could. Oh my god, you guys are getting... Why are you guys getting so hot in the fucking chat for no reason? It's just a game. You can't get hot or anything from anime girls. I don't know what your guys' fetishes are, but you guys do what you want to do. Um, I'm trying to look for my- oh, here it is. My pussy stick. This. Ah. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the- uh, picks up the paste and fastens the nozzle onto each of the bags. Sure, you can come. <laughs> oh my god. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. I It's so funny because, like, the way that they would be talking in real life, I just kind of, like, change, or, like, the sentences, I just change the way that some of the sentences should be read out, which means I would probably be bad at acting. Without giving me a chance to think about it before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. Uh, when we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Uh-huh-huh. Siyori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. Jeez. Oh my god, D. E fuck yes. Uh, D also said, bro, every time I think of Natsuki, I need 
uh, I need Sayori and me is simp for Sayori, so shh, God. What the? Oh, what the fuck? Freya, you went live? Fuck me. Ah, oh, fuck. Freya's live. Well, let me see what she's doing. She just said like a few minutes ago that she went live. God damn it, Freya. Let me let me just message her in chat real quick. Be like, damn. Damn it, Freya. As I'm... Playing Doki Doki. Let me see what she says. She's playing uh, Super Animal Royale, which looks like another Battle Royale game. I sent you a sexy pic of Mitsuki. Let me see. I'll determine that. I'll be the. Uh, I'll be the. Uh, uh, I'll be the the one who makes um, the decision on that. That's what I meant to say. Okay, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Why is she so big? Oh my god! Yo, why is that girl so big? Oof. Jesus Christ, why is that girl so fucking huge? Oh my god. Let me just let me just put that down. Freya! Oh, hello! Hi! What do you what do you what do you, what is this game? Super Super Animal Royale? That's a weird obscure that's a that's a weird game for like uh for uh what is it for battle royale oh my god was it you who did this oh my god let me stop looking at this and actually play the game fuck <laughs> jesus uh and she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. <laughs> you should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? <laughs> Dude, those fucking pictures are just... Oh my god. Uh. Excuse me. I was not expecting them. If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Uh, I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Fuck! 
Fine. No, don't send it me. I don't want to see it right now. No, I will actually be fucking scarred, dude. Don't do it. Uh, yeah. I again think uh, back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. Felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at the point, I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. Feels like this afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not having, uh, not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think, I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Mitsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Johnny. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ugh. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets close. No! Oh! Ah! Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. Ah! Ah! No! What the fuck? I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her. Hey, bro, why are you homo? Shut the fuck up. Her rose colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath against, my, against me. I felt it for a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Oh, God, thank you. Siori? Eh? Uh. Hi, Johnny. Uh, oh, hi. Eh! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Siori! Just now, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Johnny. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh, well, you should have came earlier, or came, come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, Siori, please, you didn't see anything. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any of the cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. Oof. Trust me, I like you, Sayori. Not that fucking cooking shorty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not that fucking cooking shorty. What the fuck? Uh, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Nasuki. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. Damn it. That's why I hate about fucking depression, dude. That shit will, like, hit you really badly. That's all that matters to me. Tears start f to fall down Siori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Johnny? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart... Damn it, no! 
It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Siori, don't say that. No, I don't like this. Oh, shit. It's true, Johnny. If it wasn't... if. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. Shut up, Siori! That- Ah, uh, dude. Dude, fuck! Ah, uh, damn, I didn't read that part! Monica was right. I should just- Monica? Monica was right about what? Siori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out of to be. It's something that makes me happy. I want to sleep over. Best, I want to sleep over, Coyote. Besties. Oh my god. Fucking D. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if I, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Coyote looks away. Put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Johnny. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Javaka! It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. I like you so much that I want to die. Oh no! Fuck! That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slid my hand down Siori's arm and squeezed her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Siori nods. In it, even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know you need the most right now. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. I love you. D eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way I could like... You could like me more than I like you. I'm flexing on. I'm flexing on you fucking haters saying, Don't fucking go for Coyote. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important to me. Important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Dude, she is queen. Doesn't matter. Johnny, is this really okay? Damn, dude, that's like the hardest question to ever have somebody ask you. Like, is this really okay? Like, if you know deep down that that's really what you are going to do and that's what you want. Yes, everything is, like, it's going to be okay. Yeah. I hold Siori in my arms and pull her closer. <laughs> Shot your ass. <laughs> You'll never have to let go of me again. Oh, wow. Fuck. Strong words, dude. That's so much... Ah, oh, that's so much feelings right there, man. That's a lot of feelings right there. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Siori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Siori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now... Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all. It's okay. It might take some time for things to get better. 
I I honestly hope like I don't come up to the point uh, because you already told me about oh, fuck. Why did you tell me, D? Now I can't think about that. Ah. Oh, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. O okay. I trust you. Sodi and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Hey, <laughs> What are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it's always been. <laughs> Wait, what did I tell you about the suicide stuff that happens in the game? I, I think I know who it was supposed to be if I don't if I didn't make the right decision. Even if we really are a couple, I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. Yeah, it's dude, they're they're high schoolers. Like I don't think they've had anything like that or anything in correlation to it, so I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. <laughs> Lex, stop, you sick fuck. Hey, Danny. Sayori so gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me? Yeah, I do. That's my promise. Mm. Uh. Uh, I, f I see foreshadowing coming at me. No. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Siori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Siori's feeling as she is. Ooh. That's what happens when, like, whenever you, ha wait, whenever you deal with depression, because, like, you can't, you don't know how to honestly feel. Like, you don't know how your emotions are going to react to you in the moments like this. It's such a it's such a difficult thing too. Montage, how did I tell you about suicide? Even the game tells you when you boot it up. You told me like last week when I downloaded the game saying that there was like somebody suicide and like watch out for that. And I felt like okay, you're talking about that which means since we found out Siori, since I found out Siori has depression, I was like, oh great, that's 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 cool to know because, yeah, you tell me there's suicide and she has depression. Yeah, dude. What are you guys arguing about? What the fuck? Hold up. What do I have to? Who do I have to manhandle right now? Who who do I gotta get on the asses right now? Who, who, who's who, who's doing what right now? Who's who's fucking doing what? Let me see. Y'all, y'all, y'all making me concerned right now, and I don't, I don't want to be concerned. Uh, just give me one moment. I apologize. I'm just uh, retweeting some stuff uh, for the stream that's going on right now for people to know. Okay, now I can drop this. Are you guys babbling? Are you guys fighting? Are, if you guys are fighting, take it to the pit. I actually don't know what's going on. 
I truly do not know what's going on. <gasps> no, why did I look at this? No! No, I didn't finish the game. Don't say anything in chat. Don't send me messages in spoilers of the game. I want to figure out what's going on. Not with this. This game is hitting my feelings. So you don't tell me. Even though I can't, I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back the way they were. No, no, he did not send me anything. You sent me that fucking godforsaken photo of fucking fat Yuri, and I did not need to see that. <laughs> ah! Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. <laughs> But I know I'll give it everything I've got. Siyori is the most important important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have to have a happy future with her. Dude, that's that's facts right there. That's facts. Do you want No, stop it! No! It's the day of the festival. Of all days I expected this to be one where I'd be walking to school with Siyori. But Siyori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but Decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly... Oh, fuck. <sighs> Damn it. No, 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 no. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up with Storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough... I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Johnny, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So, that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Siyori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important she tried a little harder? I say that, but I suddenly remember that Siori told me yesterday and suddenly feel awful knowing it nearly, it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I, I should have gone to wake her up after all. Uh, you should take a little responsibility for her, jo for her, Johnny. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But! I stammer, embarrassed. Did Siori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know how. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nicely. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets, laid it on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Um, Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Nosuke's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Siori's poem. 
It's different from the one she practiced. It's the one... Oh, no, it's the one that you haven't read. Ooh, what the fuck? Whoa. Uh, what is this? Reading a poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Johnny? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Yodi's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to see Sayori, so... Uh... Well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself, Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? Should have tried a little bit harder for Sioti. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simply gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sioti's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. So, um... Shh, fuck. Alright, uh... There's going to be some graphic images, so I'm actually, like, I think this is where the graphic images are. I, I'm just assuming it, so I'm going to cover whatever I'm about to see, because I've already been warned about this, so. She really is a heavy sleeper. I sh swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this uh, after all. Waking her up in her own house. This really... This really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Siori's room, I knock on her door. Siori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. Oh, Twitch and YouTube is fine? Okay. Well, I didn't know. I gently open the door. Si the hell what the hell do fuck fuck Just yesterday, I told Suri I would be there for her. I'm actually, like, really, really fucking, sh like, just really emotional right now. This is, this is, this is hitting me harder than it should right now. Fuck. It's what Siori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? Selfish, this is my fault. My swarming thoughts kept telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, 
I could have prevented this. No, I've. C Never take it back. Never. I I'm like oh, fuck. What the fuck? I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in air like she's. What the? F you know that kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's just kind of. I'll look oh, I'll look at it later. However, I just sigh. What? Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't know each other well. We rarely talk, but we we're in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girls in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me generally feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I just was looking for some supplies to use for my club. Did you know... Did you know if there's any construction paper in there? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in a deba debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Oh, fuck. Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Oh, plus there's a new image in the game files that may be too disturbing for you. Oh, for YouTube. Oof. I'd rather, I'd rather take something I personally enjoyed to make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Oh, fuck. Literature? It sounds kind of dull. How many memories do you have so far? 
Um, uh, it's kind of embarrassing. There's only three of us, so. Oh, three of us. Oh, never mind. It's really hard to find new members uh, for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of the members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists the manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... So, there any chance you could be do, do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, oh, awesome. You're really sweet. You know that. It, it's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Damn. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Oof. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely uh, visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oof! Oh! <laughs> I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Eh? A, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. A anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparable, more mature, and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Johnny in the classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Yes, this is basically the same thing with the poems, except the poems are a tad different. Oof. Uh, before I continue, so let me go use the bathroom. I actually really gotta go, so I'll be right back.
God damn, that was a nice shit. Oh my god. Felt like it was there forever. Now I feel refined. Uh. God damn it. Fucking D is sending me a whole bunch of meme pictures. Uh. From DDLC. Oh, god damn it. No booy loud. What the f Thank you. Look at my skill ye. What the fuck? Oh my god. Fucking AD. Send me all that stuff. I have better memes. Oh my god. God damn it. Oh my gosh. This is fucking treating me. God damn it. Why did I start playing this game? Oh. I, I took I took the risks at my own stake, so cheers to that shit. This is coffee by the way, it's not um no liquor in it. <laughs> yeah, no I'm just kidding, there's no liquor in it. Let me close this out because this is gonna make noises. She sent me call. Hey, want to hang out? Oh my God, Carl. God damn it. You guys and your freaking memes. Hey, what's up, Jack? Hey, thank you for stopping in, brother. Why don't you come sit down? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Just came right in time. Y'all better not be cussing in my Christian literature club. <laughs> The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. A table! Oof! Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Mitsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Oh yeah, what's up, Doug? Hey, what up? What up, Doug? I didn't even, I didn't even see you till now. Thank you for stopping in, you guys. Really do appreciate it, and I love you. So, you mean Siori? Yeah, she, she, she committed suicide. Yeah, I already passed that part. I'm really just, I'm still, sh I'm still just like, I'm, I'm still, I'm still upset. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many are very interested in putting out all, uh... Oh my god, Carl. I just see so many times. Um, not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something new, brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Oh, you fuckers, god damn it. I'm confident that we can all agree <sighs> we can all grow this club before we graduate. Shh, God damn it, you guys. Right, Natsuki. Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set, and carefully places a teacup in front of each of us, each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. 
We keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? <laughs> Alright, let me check you. I will check what you sent. If it's anything more of this game, I'm gonna close it. Oh my god, who did that? If you want, if you want Mimi pictures, ask D. No, it's not fucking nudes, dog. Jesus, you fucking horny son of a bitch. Bonk, go to horny jail already. Uh, I guess. <sighs> Why are we so tired all of a sudden? Fuck. It's not even five o'clock yet. I'm just not horny, just very sexual. Shut the fuck up, Douglas. Touch some f <laughs> Touch some fucking grits. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <sighs> it's a <sighs> salted Yuri looks away. No, I am allergic. Oh, jeez. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Oh, well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to yourself in relief. So, Johnny, what kind of things do you like to read? Degenerate virgin. Oh my god, guys. Well, uh, if you guys are gonna fucking fight, take this to the fucking pit. Consider how little I've read these past few years. I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly. Mitsuki's head suddenly perks up. <laughs> nah, fuck the pit. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Average. Take it to the pit! <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I here? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. You <laughs> will fuck the pit. Fucking do it then. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. A level of creativity and craftsmanship beyond them is amazing to me. Mans don't get any pussies, so he's got to fuck a pit. He said I will. <laughs> Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her rating. She seemed... Uh... <sighs> oh, excuse me. She seemed so reserved and timid since... One when I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. That fucking pit doesn't know what will hit it. I sent you a very dark meme. Alright. Am I allowed to set- No, you can't. No. D, no. No, if you send porn in it, go send it in fucking naughty memes. Don't fucking send porn- I'll kick you, Douglas, if you said in porn on a channel that doesn't have NF N N N NSFW label on it. I'll fucking beat you. She seems so reserved and timid since that moment I walked in. It's obvious her eyes like. Oh. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. I will look at it when I have the chance. Calm. That's unfor unfortunate for you, isn't it, Douglas? Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own 
like a radius to completely through you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to a minimum level. Oh my god, dude. This rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Uh -huh. I expect that from you, Yuri. Do I have to? Oh, fuck, alright, let me look. Get out of your fucking living room and touch grass. What the fuck, you guys? Oh boy, let's see what you sent me. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Hang in there. God. I think I'm gonna save this right here and go take a nap because I want to take a nap all of a sudden like I'm tired all oh, fuck, dude. I'm gonna save this right here <laughs> come on come on guys be civil I'm about to oh shit Fuck. Well, that's, that fucking sucks. So the old save files aren't there. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm just kind of like closing off the stream right now. I'm I'm actually I feel super tired. I'm gonna take a nap because I was gonna do that earlier, but I was like I really wanna continue with the do doki doki story, so but I, I'm definitely gonna go and take a nap because I got to stuff going on later this evening. I really appreciate like all of you guys that came out just for this short amount of time because like I didn't know that I was gonna be get getting this tired so quickly but i just i just want to go take a nap now i just feel i just feel so tired uh -oh. yes thank you i cannot wait for my own reactions too because it's obviously gonna be good it's gonna be it's gonna be weird it's gonna be a very very different because this is so far very different from katao shujo so i am I'm happy that I started playing this, and I'm happy that D got me to play this and actually touch it with my bare hands. But yeah, I really do appreciate all of you guys that came in, came and hang out. Lurkers, you're always appreciated. And I really am happy that we are kind of continuing on with this journey of the community growing, Discord server growing. It's such a great thing. I really do appreciate you guys. I really do love you guys. And I appreciate everybody who does lurk and who does come into the streams and just chat a little bit. And my name is Johnny, aka Montage Man 1. And you guys have a nice day. Because it, we don't know usually like what time you guys, you know, um, different time, time zones and stuff. So have a nice day, guys. And I'll see you later. Sign our guys.